Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial on outlining the outside of fonts in Illustrator. We're going to see how we can outline fonts and in particular how we can outline fonts that have holes in the font itself as well as in the letter forms. Now this was prompted by somebody who asked me how to do it so I'm using the font that they wanted to use which is called Sandwich Paper. You'll find that as a free font available online. So I'm just going to click here. I'm going to type the word dream. I'm using quite a large font here. It's 200 points just in a regular Illustrator document. I'm going to make a couple of copies of this because I want to just show you what not to do. So what we want to end up with is the outline around this letter D. It wants to be offset. So it could be a cutting line, for example, or you might want it just as a decorative line. The things that I don't want to do is to outline the inside of the letter D or any of these dots here. So this is just regular text. As soon as I go and add an outline to this text, I do everything that I didn't want to do. There are outlines in here and there's an outline inside the letter form here. Now if I select this text and try and offset that stroke, let's see what we can do here. With the text selected, you can see that the characters are the ones that have the strokes. I need to dial down till I get to characters and I'm going to select the stroke and I'll choose effect and then path and you'll see that offset path isn't even an option. So we can't use regular type for this effect. It's just not going to work. I'm going down to the second copy of my text and for this one, I'm going to just choose type and then convert to area type. Now we're going to go and add a stroke to this type, but it's going to help us if we have a look at the appearance panel because we want to put the stroke on the characters. So I'm dialing down to get the characters and I'm going to apply, in this case, a blue stroke. And when I just click away from this, you'll see that again, what I wanted to happen has not happened. But since I've got my text still selected, let's just confirm that it is selected here, which it is. When I dial down to characters and click here on the stroke, you'll see that again, I can't get to this offset path option. It's just not an option here that I can use. Let's go this time to this third instance of the text and I'm going to choose type and then create outlines. So I'm converting this text object into outlines. Let's go to the layers palette here. You'll see that I've got a group. So each of these letter forms is now part of a group. So I'm just going to choose object, ungroup, and that bursts these letters out. So each one of them is an individual character. So I can just select this character all by itself. Now let's see what happens when we go and work with it. You'll see that it's a compound pass. So I'm going to the stroke and I'm going to add a sort of orange stroke to it. Again, exactly what we didn't want to happen has happened here. Let's select over this and let's target the stroke and choose Effect Path, Offset Path. Well, this time we're able to offset our path. So I'm going to add a two pixel offset and you can see that we this time are able to create this sort of clipping outline around the stroke. We're halfway to what we want. We're just not all the way to it. So there are a couple of solutions. I'm going to try one solution on this particular font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it with object expand appearance. And what that does is it bursts this out so that we have a black object and a red object. So the outline and the actual letter form are different. So what I'm going to do is lock down the letter form itself, this black object, and I want to target the red one because that's the one I want to edit. So I'm going with the lasso tool and I'm just going to lasso over these internal shapes that I don't want. So I'm just selecting them and then deleting them. And I'm going around the inside of this shape too and just press delete. Now you can get hold of those anchor points any way you like. You just want to leave the ones on the outside and get the ones on the inside and delete them. But to do this, you'll probably want to lock down your D because it's just too easy to select it otherwise. So once you're done, you can unlock your D and then you have the object that you want. So this is a letter form with an outline on the outside, nothing in the middle. Now there is a second way of doing it and in a way I think that this is probably an easier way, particularly if you've settled your type. So if you're happy that your type is the way you want it to be, let's see what we will do. 
going to grab this letter R and I'm going to choose Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in place. So virtually I've got one R on top of the other R. I'm going to turn the top one off and I'm going to locate this bottom one here. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to release the compound path with Object, Compound Path, Release and that releases it into a solid letter form. Now before you have a heart attack over this, have a look. If we put an outline around this, we've got exactly what we want. So for convenience, I'm actually going to select all of this and I'm going to merge it. So I'm going to click the Unite option here. So it's just one shape. Now let's go and put our stroke on the outside. So I'm just going to select the stroke. Let's go for a purple stroke this time. So now let's offset it. To do this, I'm going to make sure I have the stroke selected because I just want to offset the stroke, not the whole path. Effect Path, Offset Path, set it to 2, click OK, and we've got this stroke around the outside. The only problem is that we've got a black inside. Well, it's just a fill, so we can go to the fill here and turn it off. So now we have the outline for our object. We just have to go and get the object itself back and it's in the layers palette. So I'm just going to turn my R back on again and click away. So I've ended up with the exact same result. I've just got there in two different ways. But probably for completeness now, I just select these two letter R's, the one with the outline and the one that is the letter itself and just group them. So we're ending up with exactly what we wanted achieved two different ways and you can just choose which of the ways that you want to use. Of course, because these are grouped objects, it's very easy to just resize them. I'm just going to select over both these objects and just drag to resize them. So there's a nice easy way of adding stroke outlines to letter forms in Illustrator. First of all, you're going to convert these to outline so that you can do something with them and then you're going to use one of those two processes to outline just the letter form and for me I'd probably choose the second option it just seems a little less time consuming than the first but of course your mileage might differ. My name's Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. I hope you've learned something that you didn't already know about Illustrator. Please, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And you might want to visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.